Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be doing a review of Much Ado About Nothing by William Shakespeare. So as usual, I'm going to read you the blurb, go through and look at my tabs, and then I'm going to give you an overall rating at the end. One of Shakespeare's most witty and enjoyable comedies, Much Ado About Nothing is a play that explores courtship, romance and marriage through a number of relationships. Most famously that of the irrepressible Beatrice and Benedict as they trade their wits against one another, criticising the notion of marriage, yet slowly falling in love with one another as they do so. So let's go in and look at some of these tabby tabs. There's a great quote here. Um, how much better it is? Oh, how much better is it to weep at joy than to joy at weeping? I like this little exchange. So Don Pedro says, "You embrace your charge too willingly. I think this is your daughter." And Leonardo says, "Her mother hath many times told me so." Here we have this. This I'll, I just yeah. This little bit here, Beatrice. She says, just if he send me no husband, for the which blessing I am at him upon my knees every morning and evening. Lord, I could not endure a husband with a beard on his face. I'd rather lie in the woolen. And Leonardo says, you may light on a husband that hath no beard. And Beatrice says, what should I do with him? Dress him in my apparel and make him my waiting gentlewoman. He that hath a beard is more than a youth, and he that hath no beard is less than a man. And he that is more than a youth is not for me, and he that is less than a man I am not for him. Therefore I will even take sixpence in earnest of the barord, and lead his apes into hell. This little exchange tickled me. Don Pedro says, By my troth the good song. And Balthasar says, And an ill singer, my lord. And I like this exchange here between Benedict and Beatrice. So Benedict says, I will... So Benedict says, By my sword, Beatrice, thou lovest me. Beatrice says, says, Do not swear and eat it. And Benedict says, I will swear by it that you love me, and I will make him eat it that says I love not you. Beatrice, will you not eat your word? Benedict says, with no source that can be devised to it, I protest I love thee. With no source that can be devised to it. Alright, just one more note I wanted to share here, and uh, that's actually that it has this summing up section at the end, which I thought was really well done, because it has its intro and its notes and all of this stuff, but it keeps the summing up, which kind of includes the spoilers, I guess, until the end. I mean, there is like a scene-by-scene a -scene breakdown of the plot towards the beginning, but I actually found that quite useful, and I liked, again, that the summing up, and uh, there's also a theme index at the end, as well as like all the definitions of all the obscure words. So all in all, yes, I did enjoy Much Ado About Nothing. I thought it was quite humorous. I gave it a four out of five, one of my probably top third in, in the Shakespeare plays that I've read so far, and I would recommend it. So there we have it. That's what I thought of Much Ado About Nothing by William Shakespeare. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've read this book, and if so, what you thought of it. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more, and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.